Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner. Today I shall be reviewing Draw and Total by Bakora Magic. Is it Bakora? Oh, let's get it wrong. Bakora. Bakora. Bakora Magic. Well, you get the idea. All the links will be below anyway. Uh, before we do that, can you like and subscribe? Check out CardMagicCourse.com. That's me teaching you card magic from beginner to expert and more. We do live sessions every week. You're going to see a bit of footage from one uh, today, which is rather good fun. And, uh, and it's brilliant, but I, would, I am uh, clearly biased, so I would say that. Go and see the testimonials. Go to CardMagicCourse.com. Sign up, see what you think. If you don't like it, you can quit after a month and it's all downloadable. So do what you want. Go on, have a look at it. So uh, cardmagiccourse.com, that'll be lovely. Thanks. If you like this, you'll love that. So uh, this has been a really interesting process for me. Whenever I get an app to learn, what happens is I learn it. And I spend loads of time learning it. And I think, right, I'll get some footage of me doing it. And then I, uh, I don't get to record it for ages and I forget how to learn it and I have to go back to learning it. So I've spent a lot of time sort of going and watching the videos, the tutorials and playing with this just so I could actually perform it and that's what I try and do I know sometimes it takes me I'm, I'm a little bit behind on uh, when stuff comes out because I have a choice I can either get it done quick and get it out and at least don't get more views and all that kind of stuff or I can actually wait until I've learned it and tried it and tell you what it feels like to perform it and I do discover quite a lot when that happens even if it's a really simple like, a trick like these and these are simple tricks that we're doing today um, that I've done today that I've done not today but I'm recording it today anyway um start again no I can't be bothered so <laughs> but that I'm going to show you today and talk about today that's right so but well, I do always discover something when I when I perform them that I wasn't expecting and that happened this this time and and it's great because I get you get to learn from my mistakes that's what happens so these are I've got a bit of footage of me performing these really badly which is very funny uh so here this is draw and uh and I'm going to draw something in that circle. And I want you to think of something that you would, you would have maybe drawn as a kid. Not so, it doesn't have to be something that obvious, but something that you could have drawn quickly and something that you could maybe recreate if I asked you to do it easily. Um, so if I was going to say to you as a kid, draw something, I don't know if you were much of an artist, uh, when you were a kid, but what would you, what sort of thing would you have, have drawn, do you think? A well. It's weird, because I don't, I didn't think I'd drawn a well, I just thought it was a, a load of, a load of rubbish, but I, I can kind of see it could be that. Uh, it's kind of like, a, you can see that there's a kind of, a well with a bucket next to it, a kind of thing that's, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, at a push. Yeah, I put, come on, look, it's got, the, it's got the wall bit there. And when I say this is draw, this is literally, as bad, that's as bad as it gets. It's so funny. You, you, because <laughs> the mistake of maybe this, obviously, and I have this problem with drawing duplications a lot, is that I have to be really careful with scripting. When I've done them on stage, I've really scripted it properly and really made sure I've kind of, so that I get a super simple drawing, because if it's anything vaguely complex, I'm not going to be able to, do anything with it <laughs> and, and there's nothing worse than at the uh, end of a drawing duplication when you go to the moment of turning everything over they go what uh, which is so funny that Jason did then it was like <laughs> there's a well at a push but it doesn't matter I mean this is that was from the card magic course um, community so we have the weekly zoom sessions they're very good funny you get the chance to see me just do terrible things like that but you get the, the process. If it's practice, if it's rehearsed, if you've got your scripting, it's a, it's, quite, it's a really cool thing, right? You're holding the phone up all the time. You say, I'm going to draw a picture. It's a really direct drawing duplication. The thing about this is with a lot of these apps, they're really difficult to set up. These aren't draw and total. We'll go on to total in a minute. They are, uh, they're really easy and really simple. And even though draw, I think, is the, well, is the less versatile of them, there's still quite a lot you can do with it. You can have a number drawn in that circle. It doesn't have to be in a circle. It can be anything on that phone. So it's really direct. You can have someone helping you or do it on your own. I would say that I really struggled on my own with that. It's, and, and you'll see that I cut it. And I cut it because it's awful, the bit. I mean, if you were watching it, you just go, oh, he's clearly doing something. And nobody wants to see that. So it's done quite badly. 
but I did, needed to get a feel of it. But with rehearsal, you'll be able to do it a lot, a lot better. You're going to need something else to do it with. That's all I'll say. And um, what's even better is somebody else. If you've got a confederate, someone working with you, that whole thing is flawless. It's really easy. And that person can be on the Zoom meeting as well. So it's more difficult when you're doing it one-to-one. -one. But if you've got someone on the Zoom meeting, if you've got a meeting with loads of people and you've got someone there at the other side of the world, they can be doing what needs to be done in detail. So, you know, as that person describes a thing, I think it's okay to say that. I'm not going to plaster this over everything, um, social media, this, this one. So I think it's just magicians watching it. But th that's kind of what that does. They describe something, you draw it, and it's, they can obviously draw it as well if you want. And you've got it on your phone, which has been in view all the time, importantly. And obviously the phone can be on an overhead camera face down, whatever. So that's great. Pluses. It's really direct, it's really simple, super easy to set up, no going into loads of different settings. There are settings on there, but they're really intuitive, they're really obvious, changing the background, um, great. Negatives are, compared to, now this is, I'd like this, but it's, I like Total More, and the reason is this happens on a drawing app. Now everybody's got drawing apps on their phone, it's fine, people know that they exist, but it's not quite as used as a calculator, which Total uses, so, I say the negatives for me is that it, it is the directness sometimes hinders it a little bit because you're holding the thing it's almost too direct so you have to put a load of stuff around it maybe to soften it a little bit but it's it's a joint thing app uh, it's not something they've got on their phone they're not kind of doing it on their phone I suppose they could do if they had a drawing app but it's it, that's that's the thing really and it's there's not much more you can do with it now I'm sure better thinkers than we would be able to think of loads of great routines around this but it's great it's direct it's simple brilliant okay so that's what it does. This is total. <laughs> I've sent you, I've sent you a bit of a paper which you have, you have. on your desk, which hopefully you haven't looked at. I haven't. Uh, we're going to do something very random with numbers. I'm going to write a number on here first of all. It's quite a high number. Okay, which I shall show you in a minute. Uh, but first of all, can you give me a number between uh, one thousand and two thousand? Uh, one thousand seven hundred and eighty-six. One, seven, eight, six, nice and random. Uh, and can you give me a number number between maybe 2,000 and 4,000? Uh, 3,071. 3,071. Uh, it's 4,270, I've got. Okay. 4,270, four which you, can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we got 4,270. And can you do me a favour? Can you add these up? 4270, add. Yeah, uh, three, uh, your number 3071. Yeah. And 1786. Yeah. And can you equal them? Yeah. What we got? 9,127. Okay, cool. Can you open the piece of paper that I, uh, that I sent you? And read it out loud. That's a mate. Right, nine thousand one hundred and twenty-seven. There you go. There you go. How have you done? Thanks. That? So that is one of the things you can do with Total, and straight away we've got something that is a lot more versatile here because it takes you know as other people have you know Ian Pigeon with uh, Toxic Plus, which, who Guy Bavley does mention on the on the videos. Um, you know, this isn't a new effect, but it's, it is a new way of doing it and it uses a similar technology. And importantly, again, it's super, super easy to set up for those of you that are not technically minded. Well, the basic effect is what you saw there was a slightly more con complex effect with the numbers coming up on the screen um, and using a, a very clever virtual thing, which is almost like double writing. It's it's you. You don't have to hide the fact you're writing something in which I think is very cool. But that's the prediction effect. What you can do with it, you can do a kind of toxic effect, which is, well, th that was the toxic, the, the prediction, but you can do a, a straight prediction where you can have any number, you can say, I'm gonna type a number into my calculator, and no sums at all, and they maybe have a load of numbers, um, and you match the numbers, so not the total of the numbers, but just the numbers they say. So someone says 34, 21, 34, and you go 34, 21, 34 is on your phone. It can be as direct as that. So that's things like lottery predictions, note predictions, the numbers on a banknote. All of that can be predicted in the phone. So first of all, a bit like the drawing thing you saw, you know, I go, I'm going to put a number in the calculator. You shout up random numbers, oh, there's the number. So there's no calculation at all. And then there's a um, coincidence effect when you get 
uh, two people to, to name numbers. They uh, name two numbers, you name a third number, and your third number is their two numbers added up. So you go, right, I'm going to write a number, you're going to write a number, you're going to write a number, we'll see how close we all are. And you write them at the same time, turn them over, they've got two, yours is different, they're all different. You go, hang on a minute, mine is the total of your two once you add them up, which is great. So none of that needs to be done, as you saw in the video, with the numbers coming up. That was because I was on my own, and I wanted to do that way to avoid the, the, the difficulty of doing it on your own. But again, if you've got, this one's easier to do on your own. You don't have to do that. If you want a, a total different way of doing it with something else that you're using, uh, I guess I'll say using your phone or an iPad or something like that, uh, it is a lot easier, this one. You're, you're fine, as long as you're kind of cropped in on the, on the, um, on the, the Zoom and, and OBS. And talking about OBS, if you can use OBS or use an Ecamm or anything like that, then that's going to be a lot easier. Well, you're going to need that if you want to get those figures up on the screen that people are are drawing up but if you haven't got that and you just want to do it without the figures coming up on the screen then you don't need ecamm obs any of those things but that's where it does get a little bit more technical but importantly on both of these apps they are really good amir lustig guy bavley uh Haim goldenberg i think i said goldberg last time in the in the last re review i did of bakura stuff so um those three guys have made loads of videos talking you through everything and the great thing is the videos are in the app itself so you've got the settings underneath, you've got all the links to the videos, and they really take you by the hand and take you through all of this. So even if you are slightly intimidated by anything techie, they'll just they'll talk you through it. So don't worry about that. But um, just know you're going to have to know a bit if you want to go that route with OBS. Plus is on this, super versatile, loads you can do with it. I'm not a numbers person, but straight away, you know, I've showed a couple of magician friends, uh, you know, Dave Cook, I showed him, and he was like, yeah, he preferred the the total there's just a lot more you can do with it and i think because people have a calculator on their phone they're following along they're doing that with it, it it's just a lot more magical and it's a lot easier to do on your own but they're both really good stuff there's some exciting things coming out of bakura magic they're, they're really putting heads together and this is all for virtual platforms saying that i'm not i haven't looked at all this stuff maybe some of it isn't but that's kind of what they're specializing in and this is going to be relevant going forward. I definitely think it is. I still enjoy doing stuff on Zoom. I'm doing stuff live now. Um, but this is simplifying all those things that you can do in real life with certain forces and things like that. But because we've got this technology at our disposal, uh, it can be great. And I think it, I really enjoy both of these apps. They're brilliant. But for me, Toxic's really got it. And I, you know, you saw what I did then. I, you know, you can send a, a, a number to someone, uh, which I think is... It's really good. It's really powerful stuff. So, um, and when I said learn by my mistakes, and both well, both times I have tried them on Zoom and got certain things wrong. So even if they're simple, don't think you haven't got to rehearse. Rehearse with the, with you talking to them, doing what you've got to do, because that's what I didn't do as much of, and really went back and went, I've got to I've got to sort this out now, and sort of know exactly what to do when. So don't think simplicity means no rehearsal. It really doesn't. So really good stuff. All the links are below. Thank you very much. Now remember, anything digital can be copied, pirated, sold for next to nothing on, on pirate websites. Please support the creators of this stuff because if they don't get the support, they will not make it. And, and there is some terrible magic out there, but there's some really good stuff as well. So if you're thinking of buying this, you know, use the, the links below. And also remember that if you don't and you go the other route, um, you're not going to get the updates, and updates are happening all the time. They are working day and night on this stuff. The Facebook groups are brilliant. The updates are brilliant. They're constantly making new videos, putting them on the Facebook groups, and you won't get any of that. So it's not overpriced, this stuff. It's, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So, again, use the links below, right? Get off my high horse now. That's me done. Have a good one. Take care. Go and see Card Magic Course uh, as well as all that, and like and subscribe. Cheers. Bye.